Zada in this program is more than 100 years old. More than 100, and there have only now been two triple doubles. As you worked your way through this game, what made this game the one where you were able to rebound it, shoot it, and share it different than, well, what we've seen in, in the history of this program? Why was tonight so special for you? Uh, I mean, my, I just fed off my guys. Uh, we knew what was at risk. Uh, we knew we wanted to get this win. Uh, and we wanted to do it by any means. Uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't our prettiest game, but uh, we did what we had to do to get the win. Uh, I mean, I just came out with high energy, uh, just played my game, uh, defended, uh, impacted the game in all aspects. And uh, I looked up, and I had a, another chance to get a triple-double, and I just wasn't trying to let it uh, let it go by again. I know you was knocking on the door to get a triple-double last game, and that would have been back-to-back triple-doubles, which would have been extremely special. But at what point did you know that you had the triple-double, and when you looked up, what time on the clock was it? I want to say it was about six minutes. We came in for the six-minute media timeout. Uh, I came in and one of my guys was like, yo, two more assists, you're there. And I looked up and I'm like, oh my God, like I'm, I can't believe I got another chance to get a triple-double. So, I mean, I just uh, I kept playing my game, kept being aggressive, uh, found my guys and they were able to knock down the shots. Now let me ask you, in, during that timeout, I seen Coach Hurley was trying to get you that triple-double as well. He ran a couple plays for you, the lob play. Lou, Lou Dort to get the lob, but it wasn't there a couple plays. So. Everybody was aware, and he was trying to get you off as well. But I don't want to sour this this good moment. But you guys are going to have to take care of the basketball. What are you guys going to do to try to do that? Because it's it's coming up. It's going to be real tough these next few games. Oh man, uh, like I said, we'll get back in the lab. Uh, we'll break down the film. Like I said, it wasn't the prettiest game for by any means. Uh, I mean, it was a big crowd. Uh, I mean, it's no excuses. But I mean, we we definitely got to take care of the ball. We got to stop forcing so many passes and trying to make the home run play. Uh, and just let our offense flow, play with each other, play through each other, and uh, I think we're going to be fine. Let's address that crowd because this year, we saw it some last year, they didn't get up above the walkway and up to the rafters. They did. You're home. This is your home. These are your people. You're a Phoenician. How much does it mean to all of you and you personally? Even when you sat down, Eddie said, they're chanting his name. Nothing sounds better than having your name chanted. Talk to me about that 942 crew. If I was an emotional guy, it would have brought a tear to my eye, to be honest. Uh, I mean, it was just, it was unbelievable. It's, it's surreal. Uh, I mean, first of all, just being back home, that that's unbelievable. To be able to look up in the Raptors and see my actual family. I mean, it's something I haven't experienced playing at San Diego State. And uh, I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable uh, to see these fans come out and support us and uh, just acknowledge the work that we put in. And I mean, like I said, we're what, 6 and 7-0? and oh? and, I mean, it's seven. just 7-0. Yeah, seven. Seven and, oh, and I mean, it's, it's beautiful, man. We just want to keep going with it. Thank you, my friend. Nice job. Congratulations, man. Keep it going. My dogs. Don't get emotional. We don't want you crying on us. Yeah, okay? man. I'm not going to drop oh, wood. Man, get, out of here. get out of here with that. <laughs> Woo! Nice job, man. Pop. Yeah, man. It's a lot of that going on. <laughs> <laughs>